Hello YouTube, Lampy YGO here and today we're here again with a deck profile and the deck profile we have today is our winner's deck profile from the OTS Championship in Berlin in the BB land. We had around 50 players I think and Rasmus took it down. Rasmus, hey, how are you? How do you feel? I'm doing great after uh, this tremendous success at the tournament. Um, <laughs> as you can see, I won the OTS Championship um, as the Met. Yes, the Met is beautiful. Because we're... Yeah, for real, for real. Yeah, it was great. Um, and you played a pretty, pretty uh, non-standard deck. It's Earth Machines, right? That's a nice word for bad, but yeah, I played, uh, <laughs> I played a rogue deck. Yeah, but uh, then uh, let's do shoutouts at the beginning and then go into the deck profile, I would say. Of course, um, shout out to my homies. Um, shout out, of course, to Store that ran the, the place, uh, my, my locals of my heart, uh, Vivian and Berlin. Yes. Uh, shout outs also to my, to my team, 100%. Uh, shout outs to Colin for... Uh, Blending the cards, so I can actually play a deck that isn't uh, bad. Uh, shout out to Jan Schäfer, um, who is a local legend who plays Earth Machine. He is uh, well known and well liked. Yeah. And um, he gave me one tech that probably won me the tournament uh, and all like it. So, you know, I have to uh, thank the real ones. Yeah, cool. And yeah, I think that's about it. Very cool. So uh, let's jump right in. Go ahead and show us the main deck. Okay, okay, of course, of course. Um, so, first off, we have the starters. These are a uh, triple gear frame triple metal cruncher um so the thing is this one gear frame people might know it from 2014 it's uh, just one machine uh machina monster which makes it a one card combo so this card is a uh, pretty good uh on the other metal cruncher searches you like reveals three machines and adds one randomly so it is not a um confirmed one card combo because you don't have any machine that you play three times that you can uh can reveal so you might have to just you know, pray that you get the right card yeah. But I figured that this one is important enough because you need a normal summon to play and you just need more extenders and more starters. Uh, so you could cut this card, but I would not recommend it because you, otherwise I think you just break too hard and uh, yeah. yeah, that's probably the reason as to why you should play that as a free. Yeah, and as, you, um, as also, you know the deck very well, hmm? you you usually start with these. Is it good to Valor or Ash these or do you not care? Uh, you should probably Valor gear frame. Okay. Um, I would not recommend uh, Valoring Battle Cruncher because all it does is really search and extend them most of the time, so mm -hmm. that doesn't really matter. Okay. Uh, so realistically, just gear frame. Uh, just Valor gear frame. Cool, cool. Um, also, this Unglas bar, which is like a one of that's necessary. There are more one that are necessary. Um, they can break pretty bad, of course. <laughs> also, um, but this is a card you search for gear frame. It says if it is added uh, in any way other than being drawn, it can summon itself and on summon it can mill one Machina monster. Um, so by the virtue of these two being level fours, they are um, they make gear giant X uh, or gear giant X, which will come up later, and yeah. uh, which is part of your like one card combo in the deck. Um, so he's really important. You can also build your big guys that can summon out later on. So he's uh, very important for setup and uh, getting OTKs. Um, next up, we have the big machinas. These are free you need to play. Uh, the fortress, people might also know from 2013, it can <laughs> yes. summon itself by discarding machines. Um, Rune Force is kind of new uh, from Birth Destiny. It can summon itself from Grave by banishing machines. It is a battle phase negate. It floats as well. Uh, it is it is a level 10, 4.6k beat stick, which yeah, is uh, crazy. Uh, useful. Um, the card is not, uh, I would say, great for comboing or for turn one, but it is very good in a grind game state or against uh, when you have to OTK or play against decks like yeah. Eldritch or so. Um, it just helps also, so much to, to, to seal games, right? Because it's so big, you can just get OTK so easily with this. Yeah, sure. You can also like bait on the gates by saying end of main, so your opponent has to do something, otherwise you have to battle phase negate. And floats as well, which is really good against decks like Eldritch. Um, so the thing is, this deck does really lose the skill drain, which is uh, very important at locals, but also against rogue <laughs> decks. Uh, so you have to play cards like that. And yeah, it's just really good against rogue decks, really good in a grind game state. Uh, just like this one, the Citadel. On board, it is just... Um, so you can target a machine you control, then in resolve, pop that machine, plus everything your opponent has that has less or uh, same attack, which is not... It comes up, it's pretty good, but it's not that relevant. More relevant is that if a machine on your board is destroyed, an Earth machine once is destroyed, it can uh, summon itself from the grave, which is uh, really good again for floating, for grind game, because the deck isn't really putting up gates, it just puts up fat beat sticks that uh, yeah. just, you know, don't stall out, but they just wall up your opponent, and then basically turn one is set up, uh, then your opponent plays and can't out your board turn three is just okay that's the board strategy you go for yeah it's kind of um, similar to to sell it right J just survive the first turn after you did a lot of stuff with resource re management and then you otk the turn after yeah yeah it's quite similar except yeah. that you actually have beat six that can uh, yeah, out monsters true. that have more than 1.8 k uh, attack points uh, so you don't die to trickster cantina <laughs> um anyways uh, we also have uh, some big uh, earth machines um 
So this is a bullet train and dairy train. This one can summon itself out on the summon of an earthen she monster. Um, if it's detached from an exit, so exit monster can pop one card on your opponent's board, which is uh, neat. You know, you can like yeah. set up the unaffected uh, massive train with 4k defense and this one to have like one disruption. Uh, make it unaffected as well when you detach it, you can pop one. Um, this one can summon itself from hand if you only have earth machines, which often is the case because the deck is called earth machine. Yeah. Um, during the end phase, it can also add one uh, machine from grave to hand if it is in the grave, which is um, very important because the grind game is about the best thing this deck is going for it, like the floatiness, sure. the, the resources. Yeah. So this one is uh, very important. And you also need both of these um, in your combo for actually putting up a rank 10. Because that is usually end board, just you know, putting up a big beat stick and you know, praying that it works out. Yeah. Um, since X Earth Machine, we play more Earth Machines. Uh, Infinite Tracks, these are pretty much necessary. So, um, this one is just on all time and it searches one of the other ones. Um, this one is the most important one. If like all of these bigger ones can be uh, special summoned by tributing one Earth Machine. And this one on summon can summon another one from deck, um, which goes to rank five, which is a generic Earth Machine searcher. So, Basically search, searches your entire deck, so this is the most important card in the deck, I would say. Wow. Uh, these two are necessary bricks you have to run. Uh, this is a part of Everest, which enables your grind game, but also it's your one-card one card combo, basically. Mm -hmm. And this one is a Reborn, which uh, can make your opponent play into it by Nibiru-ing you, which uh, makes them lose the game, which is terrific. Um, so if they like, if they Nibiru on exceed someone because no one knows how to play against the deck uh, because it's so rogue, this one can come in really clutch. With reborn effect, yeah, um, yeah, that's about like for the engine cards to play. Uh, then we also have, well, like, regulars. Uh, this is also a relatively new card. It is also one of the best cards in the deck, I would say. Um, as you know, can summon itself by equipping itself with a machine, which is really neat actually because these ones are uh, these gear frames are union monsters. So what you can do is you can uh, use this effect, target gear frame, and then equipped with gear frame. And summon out the gear frame back as an extender, so we actually get like a body plus in the gate. Yeah. So this card is just uh, That's insane crazy. in the deck. I realized, <clears throat> sorry, I realized that as well. Like this can actually start your place and in, in second or third turn, it's crazy. Yeah, it's usually an extender, but the fact that it is, is an extender plus like Nibiru proof or just yeah. you know any gate, which is pretty good for deck because the deck doesn't put up any gates uh, on its own. Um, this pretty nice. also makes you just play through things, uh, baits on the gates. Why it's on, uh, really why great. Why only one though? Uh. I know. I did. Like the thing is, this deck is already brick enough, as, uh, as I thought to myself. And then I thought, you know, it's a searchable via the rank five because it can search out any Earth Machine monster. Mm -hmm. uh, so I thought to myself, I don't really want to run more than one because right. I don't see the point because I can search it. And most times you actually don't want to end on it because you have to uh, spend your searches on level tens. So you can go for the rank ten because I think that is a more decent end board that you know just wins against more decks than okay. regulars pass. Yeah, fair, fair. Because like one unaffected beat stick with 4k defense is less, more longer than one negate that sure, removes sure. itself from board. Yeah. Um, we also have the necessary big that you can draw <laughs> if you play this deck too. Um, it's an ancient gear monster that uh, is just search off of an extra egg monster, which can search another earth machine monster when it is added. Um, that is 500 attack or defense, so either of these two, because usually you use this one to summon either of these two, and then yeah. you search the other one of the gear yeah, box yeah. because you need both for your combo. Yeah, you, you have to play. Um, but yeah, that's about it for the main deck monsters. It's just a lot of stuff that's necessary. Um, the actually good cards from the both engines we play. Actually, only machines, right? It's all machines. Yeah, it's only machines. <laughs> the thing, thing is, uh, you have two non-Earth machines, which are this and the Ruin Force. Yeah. Uh, which can be unfortunate because Ruin Force usually is a card you would use during a later parts of your turn. But the yeah. issue is that uh, the brutal the bulldozer locks you. Uh, locks you into Earth Machines, so yeah. sometimes it can come up that if you had to use this before to combo and bait on the gates, you can't make Rune Force. But usually it's not an issue because usually you uh, do your one card combo with this uh, turn one, and then turn three also you just summon this out and sure, start sure. with the game. Yeah. So they don't really conflict all too often. Yeah. Um, that's what it's for the Manic Monsters. Oh yeah, yeah. it isn't at all the Manic Monsters. We have ah, hand traps, of course. It okay. is uh, 2022, so we need to <laughs> run hand traps, yeah. as any good player would do. Um, actually, pretty low hand trap count. I would recommend more, but I would say this also depends on what tier of event you play. So the thing is, I um actually play 12 hand traps in this deck usually, but I thought to myself that because there's so much rogue at like an OTS championship level, mm -hmm. it's not worth playing hand traps because Vela or Impum don't do anything against like uh, Eldritch or uh, even Skystriker, sure, because Skystriker, sure. I think, rate, rates with too much uh, 
too too much too many imperms, just yeah. pretty useless. It's pretty and resilient versus hand traps. Yeah. yeah, true. These are the most high impact hand traps I would think of because gamma is just actually it, it comes up that when you use searcher spells because people don't know it's deck, they will <laughs> uh, just ash your first thing and you can gamma them, which is yeah. really neat. Sure. Um, and ash is just you know a good card to wins against uh, branded. It's uh, it's very generic. Sure. sure. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah we, just, we know about ash for sure. Yeah, and it's one of the few cards that's even good against like uh, stuff like Elich or Branded. So absolutely, that's very neat. Um, now on <laughs> onto the extra spells. Um, we run a couple of searcher spells, three of the Machina one and three of the Infinity Drake one. Um, I would say this is one of your best cards. It's also a one card combo. By, mm -hmm. Well, one card combo plus a discard. Uh, but what it does is it can discard one card, a search you two monsters, or which can come up as well. If you discard a Machina card uh, for the cost, you can actually search out two Machina cards, which uh, makes you able to add spell traps as well, which is relevant for like one trap card. Okay. Um, but this is generally your combo starter. It's really good to resolve. If it goes through, you usually win the game or at least have your combo going, so you are likely to win the game. And this one is the Infinite Trick spell. It's like field spell, so on activation, it can search out one of the dark trap monsters. Um, on the board, there's like some silly effects it can once per turn either change the position of an exceed monster or attach itself to an exceed monster, which is like the important part actually. You know, sometimes need to the extra material for your okay. Dora so you can stall longer yeah. to win out games. Sure. Which usually comes up against Thunderies because there you just need like an unfect monster to run over the statue or end pen so you can out their board and actually yeah. uh, play the game because Thunderies is not fun. Sure. Um aside from that, yeah, okay, actually one more Celtic spell, we play one Colosseum. Oh, uh, that's very random, I know. But the thing is, I before I played an Upstar Goblin, I want to replace it somehow, so I thought this card actually makes sense. Um, additionally, like the fact that it comes up a lot in the grind game or like pure fear index is the the part that if something is destroyed by battle, you can add one monster from grave to hand. Mm -hmm. Because um, this deck is rather slow, actually, at times. So if you need to play through the gates or so, you need something like this to actually win the grind game. So I thought this card, including this card, made sense like more than Upstar Goblin, so I just wanted to play it. Also, you just to draw really hard, so Upstar Goblin can kind of uh, beat you. Yeah, but is there like anything crazy you would want to send to the graveyard when using the battle protection effect, for example? Uh, no, not at all, because you only play one regulus. You could probably send another regulus just to have like more machines in grave as like uh, cost for the, the rune force later okay. on. That yeah. makes sense at times, but... Usually, now there's nothing to sell off. You okay. could probably also go for different builds with like more theory on focus, but I don't know. I don't really think that's worth it. I see. Uh, we also have one called by, you know, Clary Sanders, you know, I Isolate You Can Sand Traps, <laughs> uh, Protect Your Combo. Uh, I love uh, one off cards, they are very fair. Um, next up, we play Spice. Well, this isn't Spice, but it is uh, interesting. Triple oh, Machina triple. Turbo. This card is basically like an e tele, but you, for, to activate it, you have to have one uh, ma machine monster on the board. And it summons out another um, machine machina monster from the deck, like with different name than the targeted monster, and then it pops the targeted monster. Mm -hmm. um, and the grave, it's like a mini Everest, you can shuffle back three banished or uh, in the grave machines, and then draw one. And this comes up a lot with the interaction you have with uh, Citadel, it's yeah. like the, one of the bigger uh, machinas with the Earth Machine one. So the thing is that it can summon itself from grave if something on your board is uh, destroyed by a battle card effect. So yeah. Usually you can like, use this on like any earth machine, pop it, get out like the, the what's called the metal cruncher from the deck to activate its effect and then chain block it with by using this and also put a regeki on board, which is uh, cool, one yeah. of the rare disruptions the deck puts up. Yeah. So this card is really good and also good for the grind game, which again is important against rogue like Sky Strike or uh, yeah. or Elder. Right. Also it comes up because War Quarrel and Shark Cannon can like out your resources, you can actually shuffle back your banished ones, which is like something else you have to think of um, yeah, if you cool. play like not that high of a tier. Yeah, great. and then uh, more purple torrential. Cards. Oh, torrential. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, so you have considered the following. Um, this card uh is really good because it can trigger a citadel, and because your Dora is unaffected, it doesn't matter if you like trip turn to people because all you want to keep is the uh, you want to trigger citadel. Yeah, and you want to uh, get, just have Dora on board. Dora on board sure, is sure. unaffected, so whatever. Yeah. So you can just use this at any point during your opponent's turn if they combo or That's play, fun, yeah. like whatever. Um. It's also so generic that I think it's even decent against Flanderies because usually when Flanderies summon two birds, the second bird activates and you torrential them, they can't really put up more birds to actually play the game. Struggle, Which is yeah. silly that I'm talking about it so much, but like rogue decks again are very central to the local and uh, regional meta, so you have to think about it. Absolutely. Um, it also is a Mystic Mine out, which is important. That's um, actually true. 
I didn't yeah, even because think you normal that. summon. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, of, and even better is if you during the end phase you can use this one to summon something. Then during the end phase also torrential, and then you oh, just yeah. you know okay them next turn yeah. because they think oh they are safe under mine. Then you uh, crush their dreams and uh, win the playmat yeah. and uh, get the girl. Um, <laughs> How many cards was that? Uh, 40, exactly 40. Oh, cool, cool. I would not go over 40 with this deck. If you uh, go over 40, I would uh, I see, not recommend I see. doing so. It's, okay, uh, let's, go, let's go for the extra deck. We don't have that much time anyway, I'm just saying it, but but we can still talk like for five, six, seven, eight minutes, but... Uh, of course, my apologies. So you know. uh, just so you know. Um, so we have triple infantry go live. This does not serve much of a purpose. It needs one non-link infantry. Um, mm -hmm. All its purpose really is is just putting Earth Machines in the graveyard <laughs> for the Everest because you need more monsters in grave. Yeah, it's always uh, weird to see Earth Machine players because they just cycle through these and they all do nothing. But, and you're like, well, why did you summon all these? <laughs> well, actually, there is a combo with this because it can attach itself to a, an Exceed monster of leaves yeah. the field. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. the Exceed, uh, the rank 5, can summon itself from grave by tributing one link. So you can usually like tribute this. Some the rank five, uh, attach this and search something, which yeah. can come up really and just can uh, screw over opponents because no one knows the stack. Um, <laughs> that's true. That's true. We also have platinum gadget, which is uh, very important because it makes the, the searcher spell that searches two makes it one card combo, which is uh, that that's the reason why I shot out at Jan Sheffer because of out of my wouldn't have gotten this idea, cool. and uh, it's very vital because it makes your like searcher spell complete full combo with rank ten, uh, like Everest everything. So. This card is insane. You need to play it. Summits and machine from hand, which makes like you search like uh, the the good one, the harvester uh, with gear gigant, and then you can actually like play the game. Yeah, cool. Uh, this one shirts, uh, search out your brick. It doesn't do much else. You can like put something to zero attack if you pop a spell trap from your board, which is like okay. But it searches out the brick, which is important because you need to get to the Everest to to play the game. Sure. Uh, Clever genius. It's just like a grand game card. Can bait out negates. It's unaffected by spell traps and link monsters. Um. They can, like it's against certain decks, it can just be like very good because they can't out it really, so you can just you know bait out their stuff and they can't really do anything. Uh, Anger Knuckle, it's a quick play level 10, level 10 monster reborn, which is important. Uh, also, in a grand game, it can summon itself out by sending a card from hand of field to graveyard, so it's really good for if you have an empty board, just get back your like monsters and beat sticks and have monsters uh, you can summon to the field. Uh, Felix can come up if you have to out deck him, the only one you have yeah. enough flex spots, I think, to afford this, so. Just played one in case I get deck and beat and have to like normal summon a hand trap. Sure. Uh, Omega because I'm greedy and I think if Gamma resolves, I win the game. So I <laughs> play this to get rid of more cards in hand. Yeah, cool. Uh, Gear Dragon is just necessary entry requirement for the, the combo I mentioned earlier with uh, the Platinum Gadget. Um, this is the rank 5 dimension that can just search generically. It's insane in the deck. It's really good. Um, the 2k burn Gustav Marx, which is uh, also a rather good card. It's a uh, it doesn't come up that much actually, as people might think, but it's very good for OTKing in case you need like more extra damage. Sure, sure. Um, Dora, basically your first time play, you just put up a 4k defense beat stick and uh, hope you win the game. Yeah, no um, can out it. Yeah, that's a, that's a good thing about uh, rogue decks they can't out it. Uh, we also have Liebe. This is a good OTK tool. It actually didn't really come up today, uh, but it's really good against outing big boards. You can just run over everything and OTK usually, so this card is uh, essential. It's love. Um, it also... <laughs> it's love. Yeah, it's love. It really is love when you uh, win the game in one turn. Also, we have Zeus here, uh, which is just, it can come up in grand game. Like, the thing is, you can be locked into Earth Machine, so sometimes it just doesn't, can come up, but it can come up uh, a lot of times sure, in sure. the grand game All when right. you don't really have the level 5 effect. Uh, side deck is uh, rather generic. We have Triple Ghost Ogre, uh, in case you actually play against like the rare combo player on an uh, OTS championship. <laughs> we also yeah. have Triple and Biru, in case you play against a rare combo player or a <laughs> yeah. Um We also have Triple Urgent Schedule, which is just like, so in case you don't know this card, it's like, it says if your opponent has more monsters than you, you can use it to summon out two Earth Machines from deck, which is uh, insane. Okay. Um, it's also just a going second card that's generically good. Like it's, uh, it, it locks you into an only second with machines, which doesn't matter, so yeah, cool. But it's just a, a double E teller um, yeah. if you go second, which is completely nutty. And um, we also have the. You, did, did you ever think of maining this? Um, I could, but the thing is, you need to set up from turn one to actually like re have enough resources to OTK and play through the gates. Okay. So I don't think you can go forward to go second with this deck. I think you could try it, but I would not recommend it because again, just playing against like Thunderies also, if you want to go first, because you can't you can't out barrier sure, statue sure, and stuff. Sure. Uh, we also have the good old uh, local side deck with the Ferdaster, Triple, Twinterster, and Double Evenly. Um, I think Double right, Evenly, yeah. you could, yeah, it's all Decro Hate basically. I think Double Evenly you could replace. It's not that great because you I actually want to have to battle phase, so I don't know, I wouldn't yeah. 
Maybe not just sure lightning, would... lightning storms or something instead, right? Yeah, if you have the money, probably lightning storm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> this one is just anti back row. This one uh, outs the entire fund resport, so it's very good. Yeah. Um, right. So that's, that's just generic, and yeah, that's okay. about it. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so would you recommend other people to play this deck? Do you think it's beginner friendly, or will you take it to, take your time to learn it? Hell no, no, I'm kidding. Um, actually, so the thing is, this deck is not too hard, I think. Okay. The only issue I find it with it is that there is very little reference you can go with. Like the deck profile, I had to like, or like the deck build, I had to like do everything on my own and ask my uh, local uh, Earth Machine expert how to play the deck. Actually, yeah, yeah. So um, I think depending on how good you are at the game, how good your understanding is of the game, you can probably easily pick this deck up and actually uh, make some adjustments to the build as well. Also depending on your budget. Sure, sure. But I would say it's uh, yeah, beginners could probably pick it up. It's, it's a fair enough assessment. I just think you have to like. Have a decent grasp of the game because also it it combos a lot, so you need to know how you manage resources, sure, uh, what you shuffle sure. back to deck to turn one, yeah, etc. But it's a um, fun, fun deck to put a lot of time into, right? Because you can really develop your your playstyle with this deck a lot, and you're not just uh, that's not a combo deck where you learn one combo and that's it. But this deck has a lot of combo routes that are differing from each other. I feel like. Yeah, it has different combos for sure, but yeah. the, I think the best thing is this first is Rogue Advantage, because this deck is, I think it's so Rogue that people really don't know this deck, like, no one no one yeah, knows what this yeah, deck yeah. does. Um, and the grind game is just, like, completely insane. Um, you have, like, matchups like Pro Eldritch or so, even Eldritch Brandon, I would say, that are just insanely free, like, they just can't out your beat six, they can't out your board, and they have no chance of winning. Yeah. Um, you can probably also consider things like Skill Drain or so, I didn't really test too much with that, but you can probably also, like, play way more trapping. We actually like put in the torrentials and the turbo last minute yeah. and uh, swapped it off for the hand traps, but you can probably also just go for Ghost Match, Rivalry, true, I figure. True, true, uh, it depends on how the the post uh, pod format with Splite and TLF it turns out to be. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure on that yet. Sure. Uh, so thank you very much, Rasmus. That definitely uh, was a fun insight into Earth Machines. Congratulations again on your success today. And uh, yeah, have a good rest of the evening. Thank you. Uh, thank you for having me. It was a, it was a great time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.